my name is Kelly and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial on the new self check-in module um, in Koha with the 1805 release. So this is a really exciting new module that is going to allow a library to have a self check-in station powered by Koha. Um, with Koha, you know, most of the time it comes with some system preferences. So we are going to pop over to our administration module. And this is going to look um, similar, similarly um, um, like your self-checkout module, but this is the self-check-in module. So I just did self-check-in as my, or no, sorry, self-check as my um, system preference search. And you can see I have some down here at the bottom. So the one that we would need to make sure was enabled is the self-check-in module. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. We also have the end part of the URL that we'll need to add to our um, our OPAC. So that is something that we will need to set up. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm going to go over some of the other system preferences that are available. So we um, have a couple of customizations that can be done on that self check in module. Um, so we have self check in main user block. And if we wanted to um, add any HTML to that screen, we could do so here, add a logo, um, add some information. We have self check-in timeout. So when the self check-in screen will reset back to that main page, that's gonna be set up here in seconds. And then we have some self check-in user CSS and self check-in user JS. And those are again, just some boxes that if you had, um, you wanted to make some modifications by the look and um, the feel of it, then you have that capability here in these system preferences. So I have enabled it. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm also gonna go grab my um, this end part of my URL, copy that. I'm going to come over here and go over to my um, OPAC. And then I'm going to pop that um, over here and have it hit enter. So I took my OPAC URL, added that end part that it tells you in the um, system preference. And now I am here at the um, self check in screen. So my my um, Bywater training portion of it comes from your library name in the system preference. Then it's going to say self check in, and it's already ready for me to um, scan an item to check it in to the system. Now, this also um, has some capability in having a um, super librarian log this um, account in, so it is ready for check ins. You can also create a, um, a patron that just works for your self-check modules. And I'm gonna go over and show you how that looks on the back over to the staff side. Go back to my home button. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for um, one of my, a patron. I'm going to go over to the permissions and I'll show you that there are two self check module permissions down here at the bottom. So I do have this already set up. So this self check module, um, you can log into the self check in module and this lets you know that this patron cannot actually log into the OPAC any other um, way to the, just the straight OPAC. This account will not be um, usable. So we could we could um, go ahead and use this as our self check-in account person that logs in. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, grab a item to return. Do they have any? Oops. Let's go ahead and do it in the checkout box, not in the barcode box. Okay, there I do have a check-in. Okay, I'm gonna grab that barcode. 
So here I am standing at the library self check-in module um, and then I'm going to go ahead and scan that or type it in and there it is. Confirms that and I can go ahead and hit check-in. I do also have, and I have this finish button, this is so similar and I love the, the idea that this self-checkout module mimics the self-check-in module and vice versa. I could go ahead and hit finish. I also have this help button and if anybody um, wasn't sure of the process, this does tell you what you can do. So scan your item, check it in, and then hit finish when you're all done. And there you have it. Um, that is the new Koha self check-in module. Um, I will have a blog post with the system preferences and a few more steps in um, attached to this as well. Thank you so much. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Have a great day.